Hey guys, welcome back. Recording on my telephone. Got a little project I'm gonna put together today. Welcome back to Be Original with Tennessee Tim. Uh, today I'm out here in my little workshop and I got all my beekeeping. Let me paint y'all around. You can see, I got all my stuff in here. I ain't boxes and frames and stuff sitting around. Well, I also hear some little scurrying feet running around and uh little little pest problem and uh <clears throat> we don't want to use poisons and stuff like that in our around our, any of our equipment and stuff most people don't well how, what do you do with mice and stuff like that well i've got this it's a a, a trap let me just show you you can it resets itself And all you need to do it with is an empty five gallon bucket. I've got two that are stuck together here. And I'm gonna show you how you can take that right there and turn it into a trap to uh, get rid of the mice you have in your shed. I found this Pepsi can. I think my nephew left it in here, just a regular old Pepsi can. But you be real careful doing that. But uh, you cut the top and the bottom out of an aluminum can, and uh, it makes a roller. Now, I'll tell you while I'm making this, I'll tell you how I come up with this. Um, when I was a kid, my dad had a stack of old field and stream magazines. And it was a article in there about a from Maine, and they would have the same issue: mice getting into people's cabins and stuff like that, and chewing on wires or just making a mess in general. We all know how mice can be. So um, I remembered this. We, uh, my family has a fish camp down at Tennessee River on Kentucky Lake. And um, my dad and my mom, they like to feed the deer corn. Well, their pile of corn that they were feeding the deer inside their storage building was getting eaten up by these field mice. He's in there looking around. I just cut the top and bottom out of that. You can see just a regular old Pepsi can. Uh, but it... Uh, in these, in these books that he had laying around, I remember seeing this trap. And uh, we're going to fix this thing up. You bait it with peanut butter. What I'm doing now is flattening where I, where I cut it. I'm flattening that out a little bit so it'll roll. It ain't got no, it ain't got no pinks in it. It'll, it'll turn really easy something shifts its weight on it and I'll show you that's really important. So I, I don't want I don't want to mess up a good bucket, right? You know how we are about our buckets. I'm sure all beekeepers will like it. So you just take one with a bale on it. I'll stand this up here and show you what I'm looking at. You just stand your bale up against this pipe and then we're gonna tie wire that in place. And I'll show you what that looks like. This stuff is really simple. Sorry about the camera, guys. I see it fell over. I'm shooting off of an iPhone. I mean, you work with what you got, amen? Make, use it up, wear it out, make do or do without. Plain old tie wire. You take and cut your piece of wire. It's some You'll we'll need two pieces like it. Really, you don't. I mean, I don't think you're going to get a mouse big enough that he's going to roll that big hunk of hunk of pipe off her. But here's the thing. I put it on here and I'll get it all baited up. And then tomorrow, tomorrow I'll do a follow-up video. Come out here and show you the progress of this trap. And see for yourself how it works 
once I get this wired on here real quick. This is something simple you can make. And uh, if you don't want to kill the mice, I mean, if you really want to get all And not hurt the not hurt the little rodents. You could leave the water out of the bottom of this bucket, and it'd do the same trick. Okay. But I myself, I'm gonna put water in the bottom of it, and I'll take it. Whatever I catch, I'll take it out here and give it as a treat to uh, my chickens. Now this is the real important part, <laughs> the bait. You gotta have something that they're gonna come up here after. And uh, you can hear them in my little shed here. You can hear them kind of scurrying around. I hate, uh, I love all God's creatures, but I hate varroa mites, hive beetles, and yellow jackets. Got a little crescent ranch right here. Couldn't find nothing else. Some that peanut butter. And you smear it around on this aluminum can. And what that does is as they work around it, eating that peanut butter off of it, that can will shift under them and dump them in the water below. It's uh, the first night that I ever did one of these traps, me and my uncle built one. And the first night, I think we caught 13. <laughs> There was a lot, of, there was a lot of deer corn getting eaten. I'm gonna tell you, they was they was wearing the deer corn out. Okay, let me show you. I'm gonna take this and set it up where I want it at, and then I'll show you my setup what I got here. This is this is real easy to make. It's just simple stuff you got laying around, and uh, this really does work. If you've never seen it, you can look these up, but. I wanted to share this kind of like with my beekeeping brethren. If you assist me, you know I mean you too. But uh, let me show you what I got here. So this piece of pipe, they they scurry around. You can see I got little droplings. You know, they've left me little raisins everywhere, right? So they come in here and this peanut butter is gobbed on here like this. And as they're up here enjoying it, it shifts under their weight and uh dumps them into the dumps them into the mm -hmm. i know honey on it but that'll do dumps them into the bucket below whereas i'll take them give them to the chickens so y'all check back tomorrow we'll check on the trap progress but this is a a uh, a great way if you got mice in your in your structures and you don't want to poison, you've seen all that's got in it's peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, so y'all check back with me tomorrow. We'll see what kind of progress we got. Click subscribe. That way you'll know. Mm-hmm.